Oh, oh, you can see the water. It's like racing up this way. Come on, come on, come on. No. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with Sinking Ship Survival. So, folks, I have an absolute treat for you here today because this ship is absolutely amazing looking. So today we're going to be checking out the RMS Baltus. This is made by Zaquan12, and this thing is awesome. It's got a full interior, which check this out. It is absolutely gorgeous. This thing also has lifeboats. It's got full sinking features, which include exploding engines. I think the thing has the ability to break itself in half, which would be amazing looking and plus many other features too like it is a full-blown ocean liner now it is a fictional ship uh it is based on several other ships from what i've read but yeah this thing is exciting and it has to spawn out at the uh the custom oil base because it's so large so we're gonna hop in check this thing out and we're gonna have ourselves a nice sinking ship survival now i do apologize if i still sound kind of uh i guess you could say scratchy I am over the sickness, but my throat or my voice hasn't fully come back yet. So, yeah, it's going to be a little scratchy here today. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And I need to go down to, I believe, D-Deck to go find the engine room. All right, here we are. Look at the interior on this. This absolutely blows my mind. Now, question is... How in the heck do we get down to the other decks? I know I saw a staircase somewhere. Uh, maybe potentially we have an elevator somewhere. By the way, I love these double doors. All right, so this is going to take a second. I'll probably go on a brief tour just to kind of show you guys the different areas of the ship. Uh, but yeah, it's really all going to be about locating where the, uh, I guess we can call it the grand staircase because it's around here somewhere. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a grand staircase, but I see another one back here. So let's use this one, and then maybe we'll find the other one uh, here soon. Now, this is uh, also a ship that once it starts to sink, uh, the electronics or electricity will fail, and the lights will go off and everything. Uh, similar to a ship that we checked out not too long ago. Uh, let's see. Look for some more stairs here. Oh, this must be all the cabins and stuff uh, for the passengers. I don't know what class this would be oh here we go engineering this is probably gonna take us to the boiler rooms there we go all right i'm so glad i just spotted that dude okay that's a custom staircase i don't think i've ever seen the stairs like that all right so check this out holy man all right so let's go ahead and go down here and we should be good to go to start activating these boilers so we'll go boiler like that Okay, we're instantly getting heat here. Okay, let's turn all these on. There's probably still a starter in the back somewhere. So we got all of those on. Let's go back here. Look at the detail. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, this isn't a, a real engine in the game, but, but just going there and making one that looks like a, a real engine, that's awesome. Pretty sure the actual engines are tucked under somewhere. Okay, steam valves. Let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, so those are going to start to turn. All right, so we'll go all the way on those. So yeah, this uh, this ship can supposedly overheat, and it will blow the motors, which uh, that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we got three engines. So let's go engine one, engine two. Okay, that one flickers everything, and engine three. Okay, I can hear. Okay, RPS is going up. All right, I think we're fired up and ready to go. Okay, looking good. Sweet. Okay, is there anything else to the engine room I need to know about real quick? No, I think we're good to go up to the top. All right, so we're moving. We're passing by several areas. Here's the uh, medical bay here. Uh, there's actually, I guess they call it a, a plunge bath. But yeah, there's a, a full, like, kind of bathhouse in here. That's actually really cool looking. You know, I really should get up to the helm and start going. Oh, okay. Wow, this is fancy. Like a full-blown spa down here. That is cool. All right. All right. Come on, Komodo. You need to go up to the top and get this thing fired up. I don't know. I'm so mesmerized by everything. All right. So that looks like the dining area we were in earlier. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this 
probably leads up to everything that we need. So the lifeboats, uh, there's a set on the side that you have to come down, put, attach the magnets, and I guess tip it over the side. And then there's some on the top, I do believe. All right, so let's see. Officers, deck house. No, we want to go up here. Let's get this bad boy rolling real quick. All right, so that's engine telegraph one and two. Is there one to bring both at the same time? Uh, I guess not. All right, so let's go ahead and roll that up. Okay. All right, you can hear the engines slowly coming up. That is awesome sounding. Okay, and let's see. Are we moving? We are. Wow, it actually has uh, quite a bit of a uh, get up and go. That is so awesome. All right, let's go on a uh, little bit of a photo tour. Uh, we'll also go through more parts of the ship, but I always like to do these. That way we can kind of catch everything. So there is an anchor system here. Uh, does work. So we have that. You've got cargo areas. It looks like right here. Are these actually... Oh, this is actually a full-blown cargo area. It's like, check this out. Uh, you can see all the cargo tucked around here. Uh, looks like there's even more storage. Oh, that's the... Uh, the underside of the ship. We don't need to see that. Uh, here's the anchor room here. Okay, so we have that. Uh, this leads back to, looks like more storage, maybe like a, a mail area or something. It's kind of what it looks like. So we got more, I guess, crew quarters. Okay, so we were down here. Uh, are these, oh, some of these are actually, uh, furnished and they have stuff on the inside. This is like a little dining hall. So that would lead back up to the dining area we were in here. Uh, let's see, what's up here? You know, some of these ships have like little smoking areas too. Oh, check that out. I like how the lights are actually mounted on the uh, little swivels there so they actually move around. Uh, that's pretty cool. Or I think that's a winch. Ah, see, this was the area I was looking for. This is like the grand staircase. Okay, let me keep in mind where that is. That way I know where to find it next time. Ah, and look at this. You have like a little uh, window up here in the top. That looks awesome. So we can come back through here. We do have more dining areas. Uh, you've got those. And then it leads back to more crew quarters. And then back here, this might be the smoking area. This kind of looks like a little waiting area or like a social area uh, towards the back of the ship. If anybody knows uh, more about ships like this, uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. But yeah, that is uh, it's just gorgeous. Like, I don't know how people do this in Stormworks. Like, a, a work of art. All right, so we're going to keep moving here. Uh, we're actually going to explore the uh, the officers' quarters here. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure we're not going to run into anything. Uh, looking pretty clear. All right, so we'll start to sink here in just a second. All right, so some other notable areas here. There's actually a wireless room right below the helm here. So you got like, uh, I guess for SOS and all that, Morse code. Uh, that's pretty cool. And yeah, this just leads right back out here. All right, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and close these up here. So I think the most efficient way, there is a sync button if you want to hit it that way, but this ship will go down in several other ways. Uh, supposedly it doesn't deal with waves very well and it will cause the engines to overheat which, let me go ahead and see if I can locate them. Uh, there's going to be, like, intakes. Probably on... Let's see. I'm looking at the surface here. Kind of curious as to where they are. Normally, there's, like, these little stacks or something on the bottom. Or, like, little intakes. But maybe there's somewhere else. But supposedly, the revving up and down will cause this ship to explode. Actually, maybe it's these. Uh, that does look like it's running, uh, maybe a pipe through here. Yeah. Yeah, potentially that's them. So yeah, we'll see what happens here, but I think we are about ready to go here. Uh, we're going to probably start it off slow. Uh, we're not going to go to 100%. I just want to see how this thing actually fights some of these waves, and then we'll kick it up. All right, so we're going to be wedged between several islands, so we're going to start to turn here and uh, try to point ourselves between the uh, wind turbine and there's an island in the distance. Uh, this thing's doing really, really well with the waves. Uh, we're at about 50% right now. Uh, looks pretty good. This actually has a really, really flat bottom to it. Uh, I kind of pictured it going down in the water more. But if you look, like, that's about all that sets in the water. And that's even uh, fluctuating right now because of the uh, waves. But yeah, that's uh, pretty cool looking. 
Uh, I don't think this thing would stand up to like a tsunami or something, but but we're going to definitely just try this with the uh, the big waves. All right, so I'm starting to actually hear the engine pulsate up and down with the waves. So, yeah, that's a bit of a thing. Okay, I think we're good right now. I don't wonder, is it maybe those? I'm looking for like where the, maybe the engines are taking in air and maybe it's on the side. Maybe when those get covered, that's what's causing them to kind of flood. So maybe these little, uh, and I don't know what these are called, forgive me for not knowing, but I think this is where the air intake normally would be. But I think actually on the ship, it's these little uh, holes on the side. That's why it kind of uh, overheats when the water covers them. So I think we're ready to go ahead and kick this up. Uh, wait, oh, it's really bogging down. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Man, I don't know how I ended up with this many islands in front of me. Uh, I almost want to turn... Whoa. That was a big one right there. Wait, where are the actual engines at? That's a good question. Okay, there's the engine room. Uh, okay, it's... Oh, there's somewhere's around here. How do there's somewhere's in here? I don't know, actually know where they're hidden at. Uh, but we're going to try our bet. Did we just lose a lifeboat? There's something floating in the water back there. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in on it. All right, I'm going to go check these lifeboats real quick because we definitely lost one. Uh, check. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to turn real quick. Uh, we're definitely getting close to... What was that? I just heard something clip. Okay, I see lifeboats there. Yeah, I could somewhat see the one that we lost. Maybe it was on the back of the ship? Uh, potentially. Dude, this looks so epic looking. With these waves and this massive ship and... Oh. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I need to go ahead and turn here, though. Uh, I want to go check those lifeboats, but we're, I think, heading pretty much right towards an island. Uh, the waves are dragging us. I'm going to try to turn to the right here. All right, that looks pretty good right there. All right, let's go ahead and check these lifeboats real quick and uh, see what we're dealing with. Uh, which one did we lose is the question. All right, was it one of you? Actually, how do we get back up? Oh, look at that. The lifeboats are loose up here. Okay, so all the ones on the back are disconnected right now. You know, that's not really a huge deal. I uh, will probably just work with the ones that are connected up towards the front. But yeah, that's definitely where one flew off. All right. Ooh, let's get up a deck real quick and see what this looks like. Holy man. That is cool. Okay, so we got one there. All right, and then we have two up here towards the front. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. All right, well, let's just keep holding on here. All right, so I feel like we need to kick these storms up uh, to maybe try to get some bigger waves here. So here we go. All right, let's go 70%. All right, it's looking pretty decent right now. Yeah, these waves are, I don't know, they're, they're mixed right now because we're in between so many islands. I don't think we're in that deep of water right now. Uh, let's keep turning. I need to remember what seed this is for the world. Because I want to know this because this would be perfect for career mode. I mean, everything's right here, it seems like. I'm actually really worried. Where's the Sawyer Islands at? Uh, that would be hard to get around. You know what? I found the engines. They're actually tucked inside of the boilers. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now why I couldn't find them. That's actually a really cool setup. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a status check of the ship. It's been about 15 minutes in the waves here. So I'm actually really curious. Oh, I need to close that door. There we go. All right, so let's go down and make sure we haven't sprung any leaks. Uh, I'm actually really curious about the splitting in half. Like, what does a ship this size look like when it splits in half? Oh, I really hope it happens. And it might not. Uh, maybe it's not triggered each time. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go down. Let's see, it's the bathhouse. Uh, maybe we need to go up here. I need to find that grand staircase real quick. And then we'll go down it. Alright, so here we are on the inside. Let's go over the status check. Now, uh, sometimes you will see water shooting through uh, ships of this size. It's really just because it happens. Like, it's just a Stormworks thing. Uh, it doesn't mean that the ship's actually sinking. Okay, I'm completely lost right now. Oh, look at that. Look at the water in the, uh, the bath. Yeah, I think it's going to be losing some water here. All right, scratch that plan. I was going to go down. We're going to have to do it in photo mode. Uh, there is, like, these waves are turning us towards islands, and that is not good at all. Uh-oh. Oh, don't fly over the top. Yeah, I thought I was actually good. Look at this. We're already starting to turn towards islands here. 
Okay, let's start going over to the left. Uh, okay. Ooh, you know what? She's taking on water. Look at the front. Okay, yeah, we need to turn away. I guess the one real positive thing is that we have a huge chance of surviving because there's so many islands around us. So, yeah, we kind of lucked out with that. All right, let's keep turning here. Come on. You figured they would be turning me away from the islands with the way the waves are going right now. And Uh-oh. Oh, she's leaning. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Let's got to get right back. To Actually, can I do that from up here? Actually, I think I can. Oh, and so if I walk back here, is there a... Oh, here we go. Here's a walkway. All right, let's use this. Oh, dear. She's listing. I guarantee it's taking on water because, yeah, the front end is starting to go down. Uh, let's see. Stairs, stairs. Here they are. Okay. So we should be able to make it down. Okay, I thought from there for a second that the... Uh... Wait, why is this door not working? Uh, are we losing power? Wait, this whole part of the ship doesn't even look bright. Hold on. Please tell me we can manually open these. All right. Uh, did we lose? Yeah, we lost power. Oh, look at all the, the chairs moving. That's actually creepy. Hold on. Uh, okay. So we have these doors. I'm going to keep those open until I get out of here. Because I don't want to get stuck inside. Say if the doors fell. Uh... Okay. I'm not seeing any water. Uh, it's definitely going down, though. It's all pitched downwards right now. Okay, so we were just here. All right, well, I think the best thing to do right now, we're going to set up in the uh, the helm and just kind of wait this out. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this thing's getting hard to walk on, too. All right, we're going to go seal these back doors real quick. Oh, boy. Okay, it feels like we're barely moving now. All right, uh, let's get up towards the front. Okay, all right, let's uh, let's wait this thing out up here. You know why we're probably not moving? I guarantee the propellers. Yeah, they're all out of the uh, water half the time now. Oh boy. Oh, that is cool. Okay, let's just hold on here. I want to see what this looks like. Oh dear, look at all the water coming over. Ooh, that's not good. All right, folks. You know what? I think it is time. You know, let's go ahead and just slow this thing down. Uh, we need to get in a lifeboat. This is uh. This is not good. Yeah, it's starting to... Whoa! Okay, no, this really isn't good. Uh, oh. Well, that's not very good either, is it? Okay, uh, one of the top lifeboats. Uh, let's get moving. Yeah, this thing's going down quick. You can see the, uh, exhaust is actually stopped on one of the, uh, stacks up there. So, yeah, the engines have shut themselves down. They didn't explode. Uh, but, oh, dear, look at that. Okay. Uh, we should climb the ladder here. Uh, boy, don't break on me yet. Uh, let me get up and get out of here real quick. Okay, we're gonna use one of these top lifeboats. Are these connected by magnets, or... Uh, I kinda hope these... These are connected, right? Uh, let's see. Maybe they're loose. Uh, I kinda hope that's the case. If not, we can always... Oh, actually, we got one back here. Alright, let's hop off to this. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. Magnet button should be on this side. It's hard to walk around on this right now. Uh, actually, maybe it's here. Okay, so boat release. Okay, so those are on. Okay, so let's go winch down. Okay, so we still do have power to these. Oh, uh, this is a race against time right now. Yeah, there's a village right there. They'd probably be looking at this going, what the heck's happening right now? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. These are some slow winches. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and turn these on. See if we can get these things to attract. Come on, baby. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's move this off. Uh, like that. Uh-oh. Come on. Actually, let's make this go up. Uh, up, and then let's go off, please. Oh, boy. Okay, we still have a little bit of time. Oh, the helm is almost underwater completely. Whoa, this thing is really starting to elevate itself up. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. See if we can push this a little bit. Eh. There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and go to lower. And then I can hit the boat release on the inside. Oh, push it off. Uh, oh, you can see the water. It's like racing up this way. Come on, come on, come on. No, 
Jeez. Move, move, move. Uh, actually, I gotta see. What does this look like in photo mode? Oh, this thing's going down quick. Okay, it has not split in half, but... Uh, that doesn't mean it's not going to, but that looks ridiculously awesome. All right, here we go. Jump down on this. Oh, look at this. We're actually getting lowered down. Okay, well, as soon as we touch the water, we'll release it. Uh, that is epic looking. Okay, just hold on for a little bit longer. Seems like the back winch is almost slower than the front one right now. Uh, maybe it's just the way the boat's leaning. Uh, wait, I think the... Is the power flickering? Okay, come on. Uh, this is really dangerous looking. Oh, come on. A little bit more here. Oh, okay, the water's coming. And... Oh, and I gotta hit that release. There it goes. Alright, we are... Uh, we're in a lifeboat. It's not a powered one, but we're floating. I'm pretty sure with all the islands, they'd be rescuing us. Whoa, look at that. Hold on, check that out. Dude, hold on, we gotta go into photo mode. Check this out. It really just broke apart. That is ridiculous looking. Oh, you can see the interior. Actually, it looks like they've even added, like, destroyed like the painting and marked it up a little bit. That is incredible. This might be one of my favorite sinking ships in probably a long time. This thing is ridiculous. Look at that, you can see the water filling up to the top here. There it goes. Oh, that is so cool. Well, we definitely survived this one. Uh, yeah, there's an island right there. We could totally make it out to that. But yeah, I guess we'll watch this uh, part go down here. Oh, you can see down the halls. That's almost creepy looking. Yeah, look at the water just coming up through right now. And she's going. This back half looks like it's pretty stable right now. It might actually stay up. That would have been pretty cool to actually be inside of this when it splits. I had no clue where that was going to split at. That is almost at the halfway mark, I would say. Oh, that's cool. There she goes. You know, I almost feel like we could jump aboard the back part. Hey, there's the engineering door we were in earlier. Huh. And she's going to the bottom. The bottom's not very far. Uh, we're so close to islands right now that it's just... Yeah, you can see rocks right there. Uh, it's going to take that back half probably a little bit to go down. It does look like it's slowly filling up, but that is awesome. Definitely go check out this ship. I'll have it linked down in the description. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Sinking Ship Survival. Obviously, we made it through. Not bad at all. Uh, that's an epic ship. Definitely uh, one of my new favorites here in Stormworks. But yeah, I guess we will uh, see you guys next time.